Hey everybody, welcome to JDM World. Today we're going to learn how to wire voice coils in series to raise the ohm load seen by your amplifier. So a lot of people use these UM1822s from Parts Express in uh, do-it-yourself subwoofer bills and they're dual vo uh, two ohm voice coils. Uh, you know, if you uh, if you wire those in parallel, that's going to drop your load, and most amplifiers won't be able to handle a one ohm load. So we're going to look at how we wire these in series to take the two two ohm voice coils and turn it into a single four ohm load. So we've got a uh, Ultimax series UM18-22 uh, subwoofer. This is a very popular subwoofer uh, in the DIY subwoofer world um, for home theater building. And I get a lot of questions of how should people wire the uh, voice coils on this subwoofer together, right? So the two options are parallel and in series. In parallel, um, the, uh, the goal there is to lower the uh, um, the, the ohm load that the speaker presents to your amplifier to get more juice out of your amplifier. However, if you take these two uh, these two two ohm voice coils and wire them in parallel, you're going to come out with a one ohm load, and that's fairly difficult for uh, most amplifiers to be able to handle. Uh, on the flip side, if you wire these in in series, then you raise the ohm load. So basically, if you've got two two ohms, um, it'll uh, it doubles it to four, right? Um, if you had two fours, it'll take it up to eight uh, as an example. Uh, and that is a load that amplifiers typically can handle, a forum load. So we're going to walk through what this would look like in a, uh, in a DIY subwoofer environment. So in, in a lot of environments, you're going to see people use speak on uh, connectors. So you might see this in the back of a, uh, of a, of a custom subwoofer cabinet. Uh, it can be sealed or ported. And what you'll have is a positive one and a negative one, right? So you can ignore the, the positive two and negative two. That's just for a second set of leads inside of the wire. Um, if you have normal connectors, uh, then uh, you'll just have a positive and negative. So the positive is the same thing as positive one and negative is the same as negative one. So what you'll do is you'll connect your positive one and your negative one to your internal speaker cable and uh, I, I'm not going to leave these plugged in, but as an example, uh, you know they're they're kind of at 90 degrees to each other. So you would plug in here and then plug in here, right? That'll create your connection to the outside world to your amplifier. Then the idea is these voice coils will be in series, and in series means it's one after another, right? So basically, you're going to go uh, positive to the positive lead of voice coil one. Then as you can see, I've already got a cable here. This cable will then transit from uh, the negative of voice coil one to the, to the positive of voice coil two, right? So you're just making a big loop, so to speak, where your power goes through. And then you'll connect your outgoing, so to speak, negative that goes back to your amplifier to the negative on voice coil two. So to walk through it again, it's gonna be the positive coming in from your outside world to your subwoofer to voice coil one positive. Then you take the negative on voice coil one. You'll take another piece of wire that you just, you know, you can cut this out of your cabling and it's a single strand that you would run from your negative to the positive of voice coil two. And then the negative of voice coil two will return back to the negative input on the, uh, the edge of your subwoofer box. So that will, uh, raise your, your ohm load that is seen by your amplifier and allow you to uh, then run this, uh, this speaker you know, off of uh, most any of the, the standard type of uh, sub, uh, subwoofer amplifiers that you see. A lot of people use the iNukes, uh, the 3000s or 6000s, and uh, at four ohms that'll be just fine. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.